This is Ben McGahee with Yammy Chess. I'm going to be your math teacher today. Yammy Chess is the math learning aid based on classic chess that helps students in math and science education for school. In this lesson, we will learn about prime numbers, composite numbers, and factoring, how to factor um, composite numbers. So let's take a look at what are known as prime numbers. So prime numbers. So we know a prime number is any natural number other than one that is divisible by one in itself. So divisible by one itself. So the first few prime numbers are we have two, three, five, seven, and eleven. So these are the first few prime numbers. <clears throat> Now, it was Euclid, who was the father of geometry, he proved that there were infinitely many prime numbers. And so this is a fact that we need to know. There are infinitely many of these prime numbers that we can keep on counting them on and on forever. Also, let's learn about composite numbers. Composite numbers, they're kind of the opposite of prime numbers. A composite number is a natural number that is not a prime number. So it's not, not a prime number. So some examples of composite numbers are 4, 10, 5, 15, 21, and 32. So there are a lot of all the even numbers besides two are composite numbers and then there are some odd numbers that are also composite numbers so the the odd ones that are not prime are composite so we know prime numbers and we know composite numbers we know these two different kind of numbers so this leads us um, to the next term which is called factoring so factoring is like a process of writing composite numbers, the numbers that are not prime, as a product of prime factors. So writing composite numbers as a product of prime factors. So product means multiply. So we're multiplying these prime fa uh, factors together. That will give us the composite number. So we have an example here, the number 30 can be factored as 2 times 3 times 5. So let's see how we how we got those numbers, those prime numbers. So if we take 30 and we do what's called a factor tree, we know that 30 is an even number, so it's divisible by 2, the prime number 2. So we'll put 2 here, and then we're going to take 2 into 30 and so 2 goes in 3 one time 1 times 2 is 2 3 minus 2 is 1 bring down the 0 2 goes into 10 5 times and 5 times 2 is 10 so we know that 2 times 15 is 30 And we also know with 15 from times tables that 3 times 5, 3 times 5 is 15. So we see the prime numbers, the, the first few here that we had the 2, we had the 3, and we had the 5. They appear right here in this number 30. So all the prime numbers that end at each branch of the tree we multiply those together and that's how we get the 2 times 3 times 5 for 30. So let's try um, another example. Let's say we want to factor the number um, 56. 
So number 56. Okay, so we know that 56 is a um, even number, so we know it's divisible by 2, so we'll do 2 here. And then over on the side, we'll take 2 into 56. So 2 goes into 5 2 times. 2 times 2 is 4. Subtract. 5 minus 4 is 1. Bring down the 6. 2 goes into 16 8 times. 8 times 2 16. So 2 times 28 is 56. And then we know that 28 is also an even number. It can be divisible by 2. So we'll take 2 into 28. And 2 and 2 is once. 1 times 2 is 2. 2 minus 2 is 0. Bring down the 8. 2 goes into 8 4 times. 4 times 2 is 8. So we see it goes in 14 times. 14 is also another um, even number divisible by 2. And we know 2 times 7 from times tables is 14. And then we can stop there because we have the prime numbers. We have 2, 2, 2, 3 twos, and a 7. So these are all the prime numbers. So we can say that 56 equals 2 times 2 times 2 times 7. And if you have learned about exponents, the exponent is a small number that we write that we tell how many times we multiply the number or the base, which is 2. And we see 2 is multiplied by itself 3 times. So that'll be 2 to the third power times 7. So 56 equals 2 to the third times 7. Okay, so now that you understood the prime numbers, composite numbers, and how to factor a composite number as a product of prime factors, let's go over um, doing some three problems on your own. First problem asks, determine if 51, the number 51, is either a prime or composite number. So is 51 prime or composite? So 51, if it's divisible by 1 in itself, it's a prime number. But if it can be factored as other, a product of two or more prime numbers, then it's composite. So always go through your prime numbers and see if that prime number can go into 51. The second problem asks to factor 108. Factor 108. So factor 108 is a product of prime factors. And notice that it's an even number, so you know what it's divisible by. And then number three, problem three, factor our year, 2013. 2013. So just start with your prime numbers, your 2, your 3, etc. See if it can go into 2013 or 2013 and then, then you can factor from there. And we will go over the answers. Okay, so let's go over the answers. Um, 
The first one asks us to determine if 51 is either um, a prime or composite number. Well, we know 51 is, is an odd number, so it can't be divisible by 2. So we could try seeing if it's divisible by 3. So we'll do 3 into 51. So 3 into 5 goes 1 time. 1 times 3 is 3. 5 minus 3 is 2. Bring down the 1. 3 into 21 goes 7 times. 7 times 3 is 21. We have no remainder, so it looks like it goes in evenly. So we can say that 15 is equal to the product 3 times 17. And 17 is a uh, prime number. So we have 3 times 17. So we know this has to be composite. 51 is a composite number. Since so it's um, a product of two prime numbers. Okay, let's look at number two. We have factor 108. Factor 108. So we'll make a factor tree. And we know 108 is even, so it's divisible by 2. So we'll do 2 into 108. 2 goes into 10 5 times. Times 2 is 10. That's 0. Bring down the 8. 2 into 8 4 times. 4 times 2 is 8. So we have 54. Fifty-four is also even, so it's divisible by two. So let's do two into fifty-four. Two, two, five, two times. Two times two is four. Now five minus four is one. Bring down the four. Fourteen. Two into fourteen is seven. Seven times two is fourteen. Zero remainder. So twenty-seven. 27 is divisible by 3 because the sum of the digits 2 plus 7 is 9. 9 is divisible by 3. So we have 3 times 9 from times tables. And then this 9 is also 3 times 3. So wow, look at that. We have how many 2's? We have 1, 2, 2 2's, and 1, 2, 3, 3 3's. <laughs> kind of like we're playing cards here or something, right? pair of twos and threes, like a full house. So, 108 equals, we have 2 times 2 times, we have three threes, 3 times 3 times 3. And so that'll equal 2. We have 2 2s, so that's 2 to the second power, or 2 squared, times 3 to the 1, 2, 3, third power, or 3 cubed. So 2 to the second times 3 to the third, or 2 squared times 3 cubed. Okay, and last problem, number three, factor the, um, this big number here, which is our current year, uh, 2013, 2013. So we know it's an odd number because it ends in the number, ends in odd digit, three. So we know it's not divisible by two, but we can try three and see if it works. If we add all the digits together, is it divisible by 3? 2 plus 0 is 2. 2 plus 1 is 3. 3 plus 3 is 6. So yes, and 6 is divisible by 3. So we know that 2013, our year is divisible by 3. So we're going to do 3 
into 2013. 3 does not go into 2, but it does go into 20. And it would be 6 times. 6 times 3 is 18. And 20 minus 18 is 2. Bring down the 1. 3 into 21 is 7. 7 times 3 is 21. Subtract 0. Bring down the 3. And we know 3 goes into 3 one time. So 1 times 3 is 3 with no remainder. So 671. So 3, 671. That's a big number. And so you're probably wondering, you know, is 671 a prime number? Can we stop here? And And actually, let's see, we know it's not divisible by 2. If we add the digits together, 13, 14, that's not, can't be divisible by 3. Doesn't seem to be divisible by 4 or 5, since it an, ends in a 1. It's not divisible by 6, because it's not divisible by 2 and 3. And if you try it by 7, it doesn't work. And 8 and 9 doesn't work. So maybe try, let's see, 11. Try the prime number 11. So this one you had to think a little bit here. So it's 11 into 671. 11, 6, 67, 6 times. 6 times 11, 66. 7 minus 6 is 1, Seven, so 67 minus 66 is 1, bring down the 1, and we know 11 into 11 is 1 time, yay, so 1 times 11 is 11, so 61, perfect, so we have 11 and 61, and it turns out that this number 61 is a prime number, so we can stop there. So, well, after all of this work, <laughs> just to factor uh, 2013, 2013 our year, we get 2013 equals 3 times 11 times 61. That's how you would factor our year, 2013. Okay, so we got composite number for the first one, since this was divisible by 3, 3 times 17, and then factor 108, we got 2 second times 3 the third, and then on the third one, 2013 equals 3 times 11 times 61. So let's check the answers and see how we did. Looks like they match up, right? Composite, 2 to the second times 3 to the third, 3 times 11 times 61. So if you did a did all of those right, great job. You understand your prime numbers and composite numbers. You understand the definition and the difference between the two. And you also understand the process of factoring composite numbers. This is Ben McGahey, and I want to thank you for watching this video lesson on prime and composite numbers and factoring. Please stay tuned for more lessons on yamichess.com. Have a great day.